four of these. Today, I'm going to tell about my experience picking up snap spectacles. Try and make you feel at home. <laughs> Here in New York City, I wasn't dependent on waiting for a vending machine drop. There's actually one store here right across the street from the Apple store in Central Park. So I found out what time they opened up, which is at four o'clock. Today's an adventure. All right, so right now it's four o'clock. I'm standing in these snaps, Spectacles line. Not that bad line. Don't gotta get a wristband yet. We'll see how long this goes. Now what I'm really counting on is the fact that it's a Tuesday and I get there about quarter to four. Okay, hi. hi. So you are coming back between 7 and 7.30 p.m. It is credit and debit cards only and the limit is two right. per person. Got it. I will see you then. All right, cool. Thank you. Yep. Once I had my band. I walked around for a little bit. And now I'm gonna head down to Rockefeller Center. That looks amazing. I am standing in front of the Rockefeller Center tree right now. It is cold. I'm about to get inside, go charge my batteries up. So I had to come back to the office. Thank God for HBO being centrally located. And I was able to charge up a bit. Once I took care of that, I went back over to the Snap Store. <laughs> It's crowded. All right, so I got here a little bit early. So I got about 30 minutes before I can get inside. I am going to hang out a bit. I'm see me in about 30 minutes. Now, you're going to want to make sure that you call your bank ahead of time. Although you're purchasing it from New York, it defaults to thinking that you're making a transaction in California, and I don't want you to get blocked. Don't worry, though, if you end up being in line, I watched out for it. They ended up having a separate line for folks to call their banks. But if you don't want to get hung up and you don't want to risk the glasses being sold out, make sure you call your bank ahead of time. All right, now we're back standing in line. Again, this guy's chilling. How's it going? Oh, it's good. How are you? Just stand on top of your right hand, yeah. please. <laughs> so far, so good. The line's moving really quick. I think it's maybe only 30 people ahead of me, so. It's about three different vending machines in front of me, so we're looking at maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Five or six people to go. How's it going? Very fancy camera. Thank you. So I picked up one for myself and one for, I don't know who yet. Uh, so I'm gonna figure it out. Let me know in the comments, what should I do this second pair of glasses? Jessica and I are getting ready to head off to our honeymoon uh, over in Sydney. So we're just gonna enjoy that. There'll probably be some footage, so make sure that you follow me on Snapchat at J-A-Y-D-O-T Thomas, that's J dot Thomas, as well as on Instagram. I'll probably add in a little photography here and there, a little snapping here and there, but after all, I want to enjoy the time with my wife. And I'll be back uh, in the early part of January. 2016, surprisingly, was a fantastic year for me. And I'm glad that I was able to pick up a camera because as all these good things are happening, I just wanted to have an opportunity to be able to capture them. I was able to break my 5K personal best. I was able to go full-time at HBO. And I was able to get engaged and marry Jessica all in one year. So what a year to decide to start sharing elements and pieces of my life. Because ultimately, I just feel like there's a need for just more good stories about good things going on in our individual lives. I thought it would be a shame to keep all of these good things that have taken place to myself. Yes, these things came with different struggles and things like that along the way. And that's just part of what makes this year so enjoyable. Looking forward to making more videos through 2017. As my skills get better, as my storytelling improves, I'm just looking forward to getting to know more of you and grow in this community a little bit further. So from my family to yours, I want to wish you Happy Christmas, or well, Merry Christmas, uh, Happy Holidays, uh, Happy New Year, and I'll see you in 2017.